Okay, guys, gals, friends, family, back with you, and I am super stoked again. I got the recap for you guys for season eight, episode four, and the title is Far From Home. Okay, this is General Patton's Bushcraft and Self-Reliance School. Super stoked. Let's get right into the recap. Uh, opens up with a quote from Franklin Delano Roosevelt, quote, men are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own minds, unquote. Okay, day 13, nine people still remain, and they start out with Teresa. She's drying out her underwear, warming her butt, having some tea, and she tries to fish, but it's too windy. So she continues to work on her shelter. She gathers a bunch of uh, down bark, uh, big shingles of cedar bark, and she lines the roof of her pit house. And boy, does it look good. All right, the show goes on to Nate. Uh, this is day 14 now, Nate. He's soaking up some sun on the small part of his face. He starts working on a pier. And wow, I think this is an ingenious idea. And he cuts a dovetail to join these logs, okay? He gets this pier built and he has 25 to 30 feet full of foot of log. He figures he can get about 30 feet of pier out of this thing. But it's too windy that day, so he decides to wait till the next day. Okay, day 14, the show goes to Coulter. Boat seems very stable that, that Coulter built with the outriggers. He tries his boat, and then he needs to bathe. A frickin' grizzly show, shows up across the beach while Coulter's buck naked. And listen, listen friends, Coulter fires off one banger, nothing. Two bear bangers, nothing. Finally, after three bear bangers, this bear decides to leave Coulter alone. The show moves on to day 15 now, Jordan. No fish in the morning, but has plenty of smoked trout. Builds a real nice stick door with some trap line. And he, oh man, he also makes some incredible hinges and even a lock, this locking mechanism for this door on that log cabin, and it is incredible. Okay. Um, let's see, day, uh-uh, let me back up. Nate, now we're still on day 15, the show goes back to Nate, goes to set the pier, it's windy, he decides to do it anyway, and ugh, the whole thing falls apart. So he goes back to camp, dries himself out, uh, Day 16 now. Teresa makes a real nice bed in her shelter. <laughs> and she tells us her accent is somewhere between Wyoming and UK. Uh, somewhere caught in the middle. So it was kind of funny how she told that story. She's actually kind of funny. All right. Day 16, Coulter wakes and says he wants to do well for his parents. He hooks a fish but loses it. His boat is working excellent. He stays out in this boat three to four hours and he finally catches a rainbow trout. All right, day 16, show goes to Jordan. Jordan makes a little wooden pipe to smoke, to smoke some kniknik. Now kniknik is an Indian term and all it means is to mix means that which is mixed and they smoke knick knick Indians did in their sacred pipe 
Most of the time it was a mixture of red willow bark, beer berry leaves, yerba santa leaves, red sumac. You know what I'm saying? Could be five or six or, you know, any combination. He smokes some of that, he likes it. All right, show goes back to Nate. He says, good morning to the squirrel. Works on fortifying the pier all day. At about 4, 4.30 that evening, he places the pier out in the water. He puts about 25 to 30 foot logs out there on this A-frame that he made nice. And he's got this long pier now to fish off of. Okay, the show moves on to day 17 with Rose. She shows us that she's eating a little bit of seaweed. She works on making a fish basket. Having a hit a real hard time fishing. She can't get her fish basket out in the water far enough. Her area is real shallow. Show goes back to Nate. He extends a long pole off that 30 foot pier. And then about 2.30 that afternoon, he catches a real nice small rainbow trout. And he shows us, he cooks that thing up that night at the shelter and he eats everything. I mean everything on that little rainbow trout. Okay. All right. Day 18, nine people still remain. Jordan puts his initials on the center beam of uh, his beautiful cabin. Puts J-O-A-J, -A -J, which stand for the initials of Jordan, his wife, his son, and his daughter. And then the show gets very sad. Jordan goes into detail of what happened to his daughter at four years old. And uh, you guys got to watch the show. It's sad. Very sad. Uh, very intimate. Jordan's a very private person. He opens up about his most intimate uh, details of who he, what makes him. All right, day 19, we see Rose again. She checks her fish basket, nothing. Repositions the basket. It's not very deep, okay? She's having a hard time fishing, folks. She's not getting it out there very deep. And she even says that, you know, maybe this lake is too big for her for fishing. Maybe the basket would be better back home in her creek. A pond. So she carry, she uh, collects about a half a can of uh, berries, and she seems uh, uh, happy. Talks about being alone and her divorce and how she's used to it. Okay, day 19. Now Jordan, we go back to Jordan. It's a very windy day. He tells us that he thinks about walking, taking a walk down the beach that way, but he changes his mind. And tells us how much he misses his family. And he taps, gets the radio. It's a very emotional time. He taps out. We see uh, the boat come pick him up. And then six days after that, we see uh, the Alone Show interview him. Uh, he seems very happy, very happy, um, glad he did what he did, when he did it. And something very interesting that I picked up on, he talked about how important the small victories were. So I want to thank you guys for listening to the recap of episode four, Far From Home. This is General Patton's Bushcraft. Please subscribe to the channel, share the channel, and I appreciate all you guys. Thank you.